Hey, what's up you lot? My name's Path and I'm making a vlog again after a long time. So, what am I doing filming myself in the mirror? Well, it was a cool looking shot, so... For those of you that don't know, I used to be a student at the University of Cambridge. I studied physics for four years. I graduated about five months ago or so. Link to my graduation vlog up here. I used to make a lot of vlogs about what my time was like as a student at Cambridge and since I've graduated I've been up to a lot of things. So I thought I'd film a sort of day in the life kind of thing to show you what I've been up to since then. Oh, and what better place to do it in than in Cambridge? What am I doing in Cambridge in the first place? Haven't I just said I graduated? Well, yes, but I'm visiting Emily and I'm here for another reason which you'll be seeing shortly. Now I'm only here for a few hours, so unfortunately I don't have a chance to see that many of my friends that are still in Cambridge, but it's nice to be back. So, first things first, what have I been up to with my YouTube channel? Because that's obviously the most important thing I need to tell you about. So since I finished my time at Cambridge, I've been making videos about physics, because that was my degree, as I said earlier. I've been trying to make videos explaining concepts of physics, explaining sort of fairly complicated concepts of physics, which you can access without needing to know that much maths or even any maths at all. Because I feel like, quite often, physics is this sort of mysterious subject and a big reason behind that is sort of mathematics. It's complicated, it's difficult. So, I've been making videos to try and explain concepts without needing to know that much maths. And that's basically what I do on this channel now. I make fun physics videos, though I don't have to try too hard because physics is already fun. If you want to check out one of these videos, then check this one out first. I talk about the Schrodinger equation, and I basically try and break it down so that anyone can understand it. What it means, what it implies, that kind of thing. So definitely go check it out. Now, moving on from the YouTube channel, what have I been up to in real life? What am I doing currently? Well, currently I'm standing in Emily's room talking to a camera, but you know what I mean. But yes, what have I been up to? What have I been up to? Well, the answer to that question is that I am indeed working. I've got myself a job, which I'm gonna tell you about in this video. But first, I need to do some packing. The other reason that I'm in Cambridge right now is because I am off to play a badminton tournament. So, for those of you that have followed my vlogs in the past, you might know that I play a lot of badminton. I'm a keen badminton player. Not very good, but I play a lot. And so there's a tournament nearby that I'm going to play today, and the easiest way to get to there was from Cambridge. So I thought I'd come down for the weekend, or at least for a few hours during the weekend, and then head off to play the tournament. So I need to do some packing. Now, in these tournaments, we get through a lot of food. Some cereal bars. Two malt loaves, a pack of bananas, I think I'll get through those quite easily, oranges, and I still need to buy myself like a sandwich or something. So, yeah, a lot of food. A lot of, a lot of food. Adorable. Got some on your nose. Wait, wait. Cute car. Yeah, I know. So now I'm at Cambridge Station on my way to my badminton tournament. Look, here's the station. There's a really loud train on the other side of the platform. And um, yeah, so as you've seen already, Em and I have just been to have some lunch, uh, to do a bit of shopping, sort of enjoying ourselves in Cambridge a little bit before I head off on my tournament. But yeah, the whole point of this vlog is for me to let you know what I'm getting up to these days, what I'm doing, what my job is. So let's get on to that. Now, my job... My job, I work as a video developer for an education technology company. Basically all that means is that I get to use my degree, which was a physics degree as I've said already, I get to use that degree and apply it to my job. As well as this, I can use all the experience that I've got from making videos on YouTube and all of my other video projects and apply it to my job as well. So not only is it incredibly physics-y, but it's also incredibly creative. I make videos explaining physics concepts and solving physics problems from GCSE level all the way to undergrad level. So I get to apply anything and everything I've learned over the past not only four years during my degree, but basically the past nine years, maybe, during my GCSEs and A-levels and undergrad. Maybe the train station was not the best place to do this because of the... Anyway, so yeah, I get to really apply all of my all of my knowledge in making these videos. Not only physics knowledge, but also the creative video aspect as well. Now, as soon as I can, I will share with you some of my work uh, and what I've been doing over the past few months, but I want you guys to know that I absolutely love my job at this point. It is literally so fun. Yeah, it's just a really, really good experience because like I said, it's kind of like the dream job for me. I get to apply my video stuff and my physics stuff. But anyway, so right now I'm waiting for a train to head off to my badminton tournament. That's the, that's the other thing. I've been playing a lot of badminton recently as well. If you watch any of my old Cambridge vlogs, you will know that I, you know, really, really got into badminton over the past couple of years and 
I've been trying to sort of carry that on a little bit whilst I've been working. And that's the thing about working life is that you can leave work at work. Whereas Cambridge is very different. You had to come home and you know prepare for supervisions for the next day. Lectures weren't the only thing that you did. You came back home and all you had to do was work. You had lots to do all day. Whereas now, I can work, I can work really, really hard at work, and then as soon as I get home, the evenings and the weekends are mine to do what I want. So yeah, that's basically what I'm up to these days. And that being said, I'm back in Cambridge for uh, this weekend, and I'm gonna try and pop back as regularly as, as I can. But it's so weird being back, because Cambridge is such a pretty place when you don't have any work to do, when you have time to appreciate your surroundings. In fact, have a look, Cambridge is beautiful. Check it out. Alright guys, so as you can probably tell, I'm back at home now. Um, I haven't yet watched over the footage from the tournament, but I think I'm pretty proud of the way I played. We didn't make it very far into the tournament, we got knocked out in the group stages, but this is the first time in a tournament that I've felt sort of relaxed and calm, and sort of felt like I could bring some of my best from my game into a tournament. Before this, every tournament I've played, which admittedly is not that many of them, I've always felt that the nerves were gonna get the better of me. And this was probably the first time that I felt really comfortable in a tournament. I was thinking calmly, level-headed. And so I'm looking forward to the next set of tournaments. Uh, we'll see how they go, I'll keep you updated. Now, it's basically almost the end of the day. The tournament took up a large chunk of, well, my day. I wanted to have a quick chat with you before I sign off. Firstly, it feels so good to let you guys know what I'm doing now that I've graduated from uni. And of course, with that being said, I have to obviously clarify that this channel is still my personal channel. It's got nothing to do with the company or anything like that. I'm still gonna be making videos on this YouTube channel because I love making YouTube videos. Obviously, the kind of videos I make has slightly changed, as I said earlier. I am no longer making videos about life at Cambridge because I'm no longer at Cambridge, but instead I'm gonna be making more and more videos about physics and interesting concepts and trying to explain them to as many people as possible in as simple terms as possible. That's what I want to try and do. So if that sounds like something that would interest you, then please do stick around and keep an eye out on this channel. In fact, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And also while you're at it, like this video if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, hit that bell button if you want to be notified every time I upload, and check out my previous video where I talked about how Albert Einstein came up with ideas. Now, you know, lots of people wonder about physics and what the ideas actually are, but what I spoke about in this video specifically was how Albert Einstein came up with some of his most influential ideas. What was his thought process behind coming up with this stuff? So, if you like the idea of that, check it out. Now, another question that a lot of you will have, I know because a lot of you have asked me already, now that I'm working, what happened to doing a PhD? You know, I've spoken about possibly doing a PhD in the past when I was at uni and when I didn't know what I was gonna be doing next. And so now that I'm doing a job, what gives? Why not a PhD? Well, I'm not saying that I'll never do a PhD, but I felt like I really needed to go into employment. I needed to get away from the academic life. It was getting a bit much for me. Not to mention that this job was a good opportunity for me, combining my video making skills with my physics skills. So yeah, 
We'll see. Who knows? Maybe in the future. But for now, I'm happy where I am. Okay, so having said that, I promised you the weekly question of the week. A couple of you even asked for it in my previous video. So here it goes. I haven't made a vlog in a long time, so I thought I'd ask you just to catch up with you over the past couple of months. Tell me one thing that you've done over the past five, six months that you're really, really proud of. It doesn't have to be like an achievement or anything like that. Just something that you're proud of over the past five or six months. And tell me one thing that you've done that you're not proud of. If you're okay with sharing, of course, you don't have to. But if you feel happy sharing in the comments, then do it. I wanna hear about one good thing and one bad thing you've done over the past five or six months. For me personally, you know, graduating from Cambridge and getting a job and enjoying my job is something that I'm really proud of. And one thing that I'm not proud of, I guess, is not making enough YouTube videos. I've been, I've been slacking a little bit. I, you know, I've been trying to prioritize everything uh, else as well in terms of I've been playing a lot of badminton I've been trying to do a bit more music as well so I'm kind of not proud of the fact that I haven't uploaded on here as regularly as I'd like to I want to change that and I hope to change that so let's see how that goes but yeah tell me one thing over the past five or six months that you've done that you're really proud of and tell me one thing that you're not proud of once again if you're happy sharing and with all of that being said that's the weekly question of the week and that's gonna be the end of the vlog thank you so much for watching it's been a long time since I did this the last time and yes I'm still gonna be vlogging I'm still gonna be making vlogs I enjoy making vlogs they just won't be about Cambridge life anymore and the majority of the videos will be physics in nature we'll be explaining physics concepts and stuff like that so yeah I'm going to stop rambling at this point. Thank you so much for watching. It's good to make a vlog again, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye-bye-bye.